out here looking at a really neat little 45 1911 style pistol from Ruger. This is on an officer's size. It's got a shorter barrel, three and a half inch, well, three, three point six inch, three and a half inch nominal barrel. It's got the shorter grip on it. It's a uh, their SOP model, which is the SR 1911 officer's model, and it is just a wonderfully turned out little old rig. It's just a dandy gun. It's it's a uh, satin stainless. All the the frame and the slide and everything is satin stainless. The accents, sights. Uh, Grip safety, mainspring housing, magazine button, uh, slide release, extended safety, and all that is black on this, which makes a really nice contrast with the stainless. It's just a really attractive, this really well turned out little 45. The sights on the SR 1911 officer's model are the uh, Novak style, got the you know the slanted rear sight. It's drift adjustable. The front sight is also dovetailed in, and it's drift adjustable. And they have the three dot pattern, which is one of the uh, favorite sights among the combat guys. It's they're easy to pick up and they're quick to pick up, which is what you want in a carry gun, which is exactly what this is—a carry gun. It, it's uh, it's it's made to be small enough to conceal on you and to get you out of trouble whenever you get yourself into it. Um, the grips on this are really nice. They're thinly profiled G10 grips that have a really attractive pattern on it kind of a ruger logo within a ruger logo they're dark gray and they're just really make a nice contrast just really look nice on this stainless and black pistol they're just a really nicely done grips on this and the thin profile makes them a little easier to hold on to they're just a great set of grips the uh safety is uh it is extended it's a right hand safety only which is not a big deal for me. It would have been to my brother Jeff, but uh, it's not a big deal for me being right-handed. It's extended and it's real easy to wipe on and off. The trigger is a skeletonized aluminum unit, very nicely turned out. It's uh, adjustable for over-travel vial and screw in the front of it. And it's uh, just very nicely done. It looks good and it feels good. It's grooved on the front, it's curved. The trigger pull is an average three pounds, 5.5 ounces, and that's a very crisp and clean trigger pull. So it's, it actually feels a little bit lighter even than that. It's just about the right kind of trigger for a gun you want to carry for defense. Uh, it's a wonder these days that the manufacturers make a trigger that's less than 10 or 12 or 20 pounds of litigation being like it is. Thankfully, that hadn't happened to us yet. And Ruger puts a really nice trigger in these. The hammer is a Novak style uh, rail hammer and it, uh, it, it feels good and it's not in your way. It's not gonna paint your hand. It's got a, a really nice beaver tail on the grip safety that keeps the meat of your hand from going where it don't belong. The safety's got a nice bump on it so that you can ride that uh, thumb safety down and not have to worry about not setting off your grip safety. The mainspring housing is also blackened, which is a really nice uh, aesthetic touch and it's, uh, it's checkered. So it's, it's a really nice feeling mainspring housing. The controls of this gun are all very nicely done. They're just what you would want on a 1911 that you can bet your life on. The magazine release on the SR 1911 officer's model is extended, real easy to get to. The magazines themselves are seven round rather than the usually encountered six round officer's model magazines. And it comes with two of them, which is a nice touch. They're all metal magazines. They're Ruger branded. I guess Ruger makes them. Like you most often see on an officer's model, the uh, the barrel is bailed on the end. It doesn't have a separate uh, removable uh, barrel bushing on the front of it. It's bailed on the end. It's got a full length guide rod. It just, it, it runs completely reliable. This, this gun has, has digested everything that I've tried to put through it. No failures to feed, no failures to eject, no failures of any kind to report to you. It's just run like a champ. I hadn't been able to get it to bobble using any of the different kinds of ammo that I've tried now. The Ruger SR 1911 SOP officer's model. Current retail is $979 as of this date. And uh, that's a good price for what you get. But of course, uh, you're not gonna pay that much. You get different dealers, give you different prices. You're gonna get you know, a substantial amount of money off the retail price, which makes this gun a really good value. It's good enough to bet your life on. It's a Ruger, it's built like a tank. It's absolutely reliable. Guns of any kind are pretty hard to find these days. I think it's gonna get better before it gets worse. 
but uh, right now guns are not easy to find but you just keep looking you can find you one of these and you can find you one of these at a good price to uh, find a Ruger dealer in your area go to our friends Lipsy's uh, at Lipsy's.com they've got a thing on there called a dealer finder you put in your zip code and they will return you uh, dealers in your area where you can go to get you one of these our friends at gallery of guns out in arizona uh, you can go to their website click on the gun genie and put in your zip code again and you'll get competitive bids from dealers in your area looking to sell you one of these guns and they'll give you the total price out the door on these counting all your taxes and your extortion fees and whatever the government feels like throwing on your back this week you can get those from galleryguns.com Double Taps 230 grain full metal jacket flat point is a great practice round and a great target round. Federal's 230 grain high shot jacket at hollow point is a good all around load for defense or for target practice or whatever. It's a good defense load because it's a nicely designed jacketed bullet. Uh, it's got a nice big cavity in the front of it and uh, they're not all that expensive or all that hard to get of course nowadays everything is hard to get and you pretty much just got to pay the man whatever he's asking for it and chalk that up as a lesson to not uh, let yourself run out of ammo in the future but uh, the federal load is a is a relatively inexpensive but very effective load One of the great defensive loads ever devised is Corbon's Powerball. We've been using that stuff for, geez, probably 20 years. And it's just wonderful, great ammo. It's uh, This is their 165 grain plus P Powerball bullet from Corbon. Plus P, but it's not hard to shoot, even out of a small gun like his Ruger officers. As many of you know, I wear overalls most all the time, so I don't often wear a belt, so I don't often wear a belt holster. I like chest holsters and shoulder holsters. Uh, I love Rob Leahy at Simply Rugged Leather's chesty puller rig. I wear it a lot, but it's a uh, like a center of the chest rig. So uh, when you want to carry one concealed, you need something that's going to hide better than that. And for that, I really like Galco's Miami Classic. The Miami Classic, it goes underneath your armpit. It, uh, it hides the gun very well, but it's real easy to get it out of there. You don't have any problem with that. On the opposite side, I've got a double mag pouch on here. They're real easy to get to. They've got two snaps, so you can use a longer or a shorter mag, which is another thing when you're using a... Uh, officer's model gun like this you might as well carry full size mag when you get that extra round or two because once you've emptied your first mag you've pretty much given away your position you don't have to worry so much about that but anyway this ho this holster system is a great system it's been around for a long time long time i don't even know how long they've been making these things this is one that i've had for 20 years or more uh, it's pretty much just the same thing you're still making today few small insignificant details have been changed on it but uh, it's just been a great holster for me I've carried it a lot and I love it it's the Galco Miami Classic